everybody, it's your crazy finger shy. Me. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Gosh, guys, it's been a while since we've done one of these videos, hasn't it? I hope everybody is well. Yeah, it's been a while since we did like a solo trailer reaction. Um, just because again, I've been busy with uni and just all this other stuff. But I'm finally back, guys. I've got two weeks left of holiday, and then I go back to another trimester, which is shorter. As you guys already know, 12 weeks squished into six. <laughs> um, so that's gonna be stressful, but um, I have my final trimester of uni, guys, and then I'm free, so thank the lord. Um, but for now, we're gonna be watching the Uncharted trailer. So, mm hmm <laughs> I have seen people talking about this all over the internet. People have lots of opinions. I've heard some of my friends talk about it. There's one particular friend, you guys know her, the beautiful Brit, um, who joins me on Apex, Fortnite, and all the other um, game highlights that I have on my channel here. Um, you guys can check that out. But yeah, she told me that she has an essay waiting for me to be read once I watched the trailer. And obviously the trailer did drop last night, and we were in the middle of playing Rocket League, and I was like... Ha, it's really late. It's I'm really tired. I'm not gonna watch it right now. I'll watch it tomorrow. So they all watched it at the time during the match when we were playing, and then they were saying, like, oh yeah, it's pretty good. Some people liked it, some people didn't. Some people had different opinions or just keeping their expectations low until the movie actually is released, which is totally okay. Now, with my experience with video game movies, um it's very strange. <laughs> uh, I always keep my expectations low. Because, obviously, it's not going to be the same as the game. The game is, like, a lot- like, lots of hours put together in a game. You come back to it, you keep coming back to it until you've obviously come to the end and finish it. To, obviously, the format of a video game compared to a movie. The movie, you get about one hour to two hours to really punch in the story and then that's it. And, obviously, this is a prequel. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm very nervous and very excited to watch this, but yeah, let's jump straight into this and yeah, let's check this out and have a look. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more movie trailers, video games and TV shows. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. There are places out there you can't find on any map. The theme, dude. I can hear it. They're not gone. They're just lost. Hey, kid. A little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? <laughs> okay, Sully and Nate already. Why the map? This is the path that Ferdinand Magellan took to sail around the world. You know your history. It's the biggest treasure that's never been found. Five billion, easy. I think you're here because you're your brother. Well, you know my brother, Sam. Sam! Nice mention. We find that gold. We find him too. Ooh, nice. Who the hell is this? I'm a friend of Sully's. Sully doesn't have any friends. I should know I'm one of them. Is that supposed to be Chloe? You are a collector. Well, I dabble. I don't dabble. Ooh. My family has been looking for this fortune for a very long time. So much blood. Well, I'm pretty sure he's just threatening to kill me. But don't touch your ear like that. You look like an idiot. <laughs> you have no idea who you partnered with. I've been dreaming about this stuff since I was a kid. My brother Sam left one, one final clue. Oh, God! Oh, God! Yeah, we all know where that's from. Guess I'll keep on Oh my god. I shouldn't have come out to play with a big boy's wing because you're about to get a proper Scottish welcome. What? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively in movie theaters. Nice. Oh, and the 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 collection is on PlayStation. Oh, oh they also yeah, early twenty twenty two. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna quickly rewatch that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone back and watched it two times actually, two extra times. <sighs> hmm, I don't know how to feel about it. 
Um, it's an interesting feeling. Like, they obviously are going for a prequel before sort of like what happens in the games. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like Uncharted. Like, the action looks good, the the set pieces look amazing, and, but, I mean, yeah, this is sort of what Britt said. Britt and I, she she was saying it also sort of feels like, and even Mitch, everyone knows who Mitch is on this channel by now, um, but they were both saying, especially Mitch more than anything, it feels like they've grasped, like, pieces from the games, and they've put them into this movie, instead of it being just sort of standalone, which is, I think they're trying to just create that feel that it is Uncharted. And I, I have to agree with that because it feels like a, a few of these set pieces look exactly like the games. Like the plane scene, I'm pretty sure that's from number two or from number one. That plane scene is so iconic. I'm pretty sure that's from number two. Pretty sure. I can't remember. I haven't played the games like in a long time properly, but I'm pretty sure that's number two. The, um, the pirate ship is from number four. And even, like, that whole chasing in the city, that seems like from number four when we went to Madagascar, but I think that also might be from one of the other games. Or even, like, even in number four when we went to Italy. Um, sort of like that sort of run runaway sort of thing. It seems like a little bit of that. It does also seem like... I don't know how to say it. It, it sort of feels like Tom is playing Nathan Drake as Peter Parker, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know why. It just seems like that. Not Nothing against Tom Holland. Everyone here knows that I love Tom Holland. But I don't know. It just doesn't seem like Nathan Drake. Like Nate Drake. Like the, the collector and just this treasure hunter. And even in that early day, like he still had like the knack for looking for treasure and stuff. And even with the whole thing about his, like Sam. Like Sam is one of my favorite characters, obviously from number four. Um, and just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where they're trying- I think they're trying to set up a sequel already. Like, even through the trailer, it's saying, like, if you find the treasure, you can find your brother. So I feel like this is gonna be, like, like, you find the treasure, and then, like, Nate's gonna be, like, he's gonna find a clue to find Sam, and then it's, like, it's supposed to hint towards his return in number four of the game, and it's, like, eh, -eh. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, because it, it, otherwise it means they could possibly make a movie where they bring Sam in, and he's not even supposed to be in the story until number four, um, because of what we find out in number four, which is, you know, if you haven't played the game, play the game, because the game's really good. And, um, yeah, I mean, even four, you can play standalone, so I would highly recommend it. If people have a PlayStation, you want to play a new game that's different, play Uncharted 4. It's really, really good. Um... But, yeah, I don't know, there's something something off about it. Even the music for the trailer just didn't seem right. I don't know why. I just was like, mmm, this music, not sure about it. Um, but, I mean, I love the cast already. Except, hmm, I think a lot of people have been sort of sitting on the fence with Mark. Um, he was, like, a young Sully is alright, but I wouldn't would have liked him to have some facial hair. Because it's Sully. Sully always has had, like, a moustache. And even, like, when he was younger, even in the games, when they did the flashback with him and Nate, he had a moustache. So that's why when they said they're bringing him in, but without a moustache, I was like, what? <laughs> it just seems like blasphemy to bring Sully of all people. And it's sort of, I don't know. I guess because it is a young Sully, it's not supposed to obviously sound like him and stuff. But like, I miss that gruff voice of um, the actor who obviously plays Sully in the video games. Um, so yeah, but again, Tom... I don't know, there's just something weird about it. It, it sort of reminds me of what happened with Tomb Raider, because even even though I haven't played the Tomb Raider games, my friend, again, Britt, she even said, it just seems like they've grasped different themes, different parts of the game, and put it into the movie, so it's sort of like that familiarity to it, instead of it just being like a solo thing. But I think what people are looking for, especially when it comes to these movie, like, prequels and stuff, they're looking for sort of, um... Something original. But instead, I think a lot of these movie makers, especially, like, these big companies picking up these, like, like, like video game titles, they're like, okay, let's pick this up, but let's copy what's happened in the game so people will obviously watch it. But then it's like, if it's a prequel, they shouldn't be, you know, exactly the same. Because otherwise it's like, how do they grow to the person we see in the video games? So, yeah. I will say again, set pieces look good, the cast looks good. Again, like, even Antonio Banderas, like, I love him so much. Immediately when I saw him, I was like, <gasps> like, good. Good cast already. Um, 
I'm pretty sure Chloe is in it too, that actress who was playing, who was saying like, you know, you don't know who you've partnered with. I think that's supposed to be Chloe. Um, that's fine. That's all good. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, it looks great, but eh, I don't know. It's so hard because even everyone was saying like they had like meh feelings, like they're not sure about it. Like it looks good, but there's always the but. It's like, but something. And for me, it's like, it doesn't feel entirely like Uncharted. It feels very much like a car, not a carbon copy, but it feels like, I don't know if they're trying too hard or they're not even, I don't know the word. I don't know what I'm like, what I'm trying to explain, but it's just, yeah, it doesn't feel like Uncharted. I don't know why. Like, ugh, it's, yeah, it's interesting with these things. Like, especially when like Hollywood tries to pick up video games and they try to understand the content. It's like, I think Last of Us, because it's Naughty Dog's like jewel, like it's like, like it's like their precious jewel. I think HBO will definitely do a good job. Going back to Uncharted, I think it's a very different case because Uncharted, yes, it's precious, but it sort of reminds me of like the whole thing with Nolan North because he's the original, if people don't know, he's the original voice actor and the actor for Nathan Drake. Actually, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't even say voice actor, actor, because he did all the mocap, he did all the voice and everything. He did everything. Um, he was the one who originally played Nathan Drake. Uh, and this sort of happened to him in a case where he got so famous being Nathan Drake, companies would ask him to act like Nathan Drake in different games that didn't suit it. So for example, he he was in a game called Prince of Persia and they asked him to do an American accent for a Persian man. And it was like, and even he was saying like, I really didn't like or feel comfortable doing it, but I had to do it. And it feel like we threw like a really good opportunity away to sort of try doing an accent instead of doing Nathan Drake. And um, so he was saying like people, obviously, like companies would use him obviously for that famous voice. And I feel like in this instance, in a way with Tom, it sort of feels like they're getting him to play, like, not a young Peter, but just, like, Peter Parker as Nathan Drake. In my opinion. That's my opinion. But, again, I haven't seen the film. It looks great, but at the same time, I i don't know. Like, I'm worried about it because I'm, like... Uncharted is one of my favorite series as well, like game series. So it's like, I want it to be well done. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the Uncharted trailer. And yeah, what are your thoughts? For those who have played the video game, for those who haven't played the video game, what do you guys think of this trailer? I would love to hear people's opinions on this because obviously it's a very mixed sort of... Um, mixed bag of opinions about this movie, which is totally okay. Um... But yeah, I'm going to keep my my expectations low and hopefully when I do watch the movie, it'll be, you know, hopefully I'll just enjoy it. I just want to enjoy it. I want, Maybe I won't be spectacularly wowed. Maybe I won't be like over the moon about it, but maybe I'll enjoy it. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> just a small update because we did rush it sort of in that Batman sort of breakdown video. Um, me, Alex, and Mitch will be reacting to everything to do with Disney Plus Day, so this time it's gonna be a very busy day for us, but it's gonna be everything to do with Star Wars, everything to do with Marvel, everything to do with, um, well, I mean, it depends on the Pixar side, but it's more like Marvel and Star Wars we're gonna be focused on. So thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Mangle out. Woo!